In the following video, we are going to have a look at some examples of powers and negative signs. But be careful, first, you're going to have a passive part where you will see the exit samples and then an active one where you will have to do some exercises so you can practice all you've learned with these videos. So wait until we've finished this video and then try to do the, the exercises. So let's go with the examples. The first example is minus 7 square. As we can see we have a parenthesis. So the square, the power, affects everything inside the parenthesis. So minus a square is plus. So 7 square is 49. So the result is plus 49. The second example is minus 7 square without any parentheses. So the square only affects to the 7, not to the minus. Let's copy the minus here. So 7 square is 49, and the result is minus 49. The third example is minus minus 7 cube we have a minus in front of the parenthesis and a minus in front of the 7 inside the parenthesis so let's copy the minus outside the parenthesis and now the minus inside the parenthesis as it, it, as it is raised to the third power stays as a minus and now let's calculate 7 cubed and that is 7 times 7 times 7 343 so now we just have to operate this minus minus is plus so the result is plus 343 let's have a look at the last example we can see that we have to make a subtraction and now We'll c we will copy, we will operate this and this and then subtract them minus 5 square we, we will do it up here and then the same with the minus 3 square so as we've seen before this square only affects to the 5 because there's no parenthesis so the minus sign stays and the result of minus 5 square is minus 25 and now minus 3 square as we can see that the square is out the parenthesis it also affects to the minus so minus square is plus and 3 square is 9 the result is plus 9 let's write everything down here and we have minus 25 minus 9 this is equal minus 34 as I said at the beginning now on the right side of the screen you will see a link where you will find the exercises so you can practice everything you've learned here so click on it and you will find 5 questions with four possible answers each one where only one of them will be the correct you will have to calculate what you're asked and choose the correct answer if you choose the correct answer you will go on and do the following question but if not you will have to go back and try again until you find the right one So, click on the link and good luck with the exercises.